Good morning, my name's Tom with Home and RV. I'll be doing a walk around in your uh, new Cherokee for you. And we'll start over here on the passenger side where your awning is uh, partially out. It's a little windy today, so I didn't put it all the way out. It's uh, for shade control only. So uh, do not put it out when it's windy. Do not leave it out overnight because you never know if a storm's gonna come up. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not for uh, stormy weather or rainy weather, it's for sunshade only. So bring it in when you're not around the unit or at night or when it's raining. Your roof has a solid membrane, uh, front to back, side to side. There are uh, dike or ceiling across the front and across the back. Everything that comes up through the uh, roof has Dicor sealant around it. Dicor is a brand name. They make a lot of things for campers. They make this caulking that's non-silicone. Do not use any silicone on that roof. It will eat through the membrane. Before we uh, get started up front, we'll uh, check a few things here on the side. Uh, you have uh, outdoor speakers. They're on right now. Uh, they are water resistant, not waterproof, so do not spray directly into them. Uh, you may cause damage, but they will take you washing down the unit and uh, spraying it off. You do have a bracket here for a TV to hang outside. You can plug it into your onboard antenna here and plug it into electric there. Below that, you'll see your Furnace exhaust, your furnace exhaust uh, does get hot. It's a good idea to put a screen around it to keep mud daubers and little varmints out. Uh, you can uh, buy that screen at any RV uh, store or you can uh, order from us and we'll be glad to ship it to you. Your outdoor kitchen has its own uh, graystone cooktop grill and then a small uh, refrigerator that runs on electric only so it can only uh, stay cold or will be cold when you're uh, plugged into shore power. And then of course your ice maker and hot and cold water here. Come on around to your garage. Your garage is located up here. As we come around to your LP tanks, your LP tanks are both full and they're both on right now so we can demonstrate the uh, gas workings inside. The regulator is located here and it's uh, green right now and pointing to this tank showing that there's uh, LP in the tank. When this tank runs dry, that green flag will turn to red and then you can turn it into the other tank and turn that tank on and uh, it will pop back to green again. Then you can take the empty tank off, get it filled, and make sure you do not run out of uh, LP. Also in front of that is your uh, tongue jack. Your tongue jack operates with the push of a button, up or down. Behind your LP tanks, you'll find your battery. Your uh, battery is a deep cycle marine battery. You want to check the cells about every four to five months to make sure uh, water is staying over the plates. If it's at or below the plates, just add some distilled water. Your battery disconnect is located here. With the turn of the switch, you can turn them off or on. Water heater is located here. Your water heater is on demand. So in order to use it properly, when you want hot water, uh, at the sink uh, or in the shower. Turn the hot water on first. Let it get hot before you add cold to it. If you try to uh, run hot and cold together at the same time uh, before the uh, demand uh, kicks in, uh, you will not get the hot water you, you wish to have. Next to that is your fresh tank fill. Fresh tank fill, you can fill with a hose and that uh, is an onboard tank. It has a demand pump that will operate uh, when you turn a valve on and uh, then close uh, when you turn it off. The uh, port next to that is for city water. It's 
good idea to have a pressure regulator to uh, 55 pounds uh, when you're using the city water connection. And you can also buy that in the RV store or again, buy it from us and we'll ship it to you. Below that, you'll find a shower indoor uh, with hot and cold water for outdoor shower. As we come on around, you'll find your sewer dump. Your sewer dump, uh, the uh, large black uh, knife valve is for the toilet and the small one, the gray, is for your, uh, your gray water. You'll hook a uh, dump hose to that to make sure you're in a dump. Then you can empty your uh, black tank first. Once that's empty, you can close the valve and empty your gray. want to make sure that you let the tanks both fill up to at least two-thirds before you try to empty. Do not leave the valves open uh, if you're at full connection thinking that uh, it's going to drain uh, properly. The uh, solids and the paper on the, in the toilet will uh, hit the bottom of the tank and then stick while the water runs away. So uh, it needs that water uh, inside the tank to uh, flush out the tank so be aware of that you have uh, your 30 amp uh, service here and all that cable is yours all the way back to where we have it plugged into the building you uh, want to make sure that you do not run your AC on anything less than 30 amps if uh, if you run it on something less than 30 amps, you could damage the unit. Above that, you'll find a black tank flush. Once you've dumped your black tank at the uh, sewer dump, you may, uh, on the meter, see that there's still something in the tank. It means that there's something stuck on the sensors. It could either be paper or solids. And if you hook a hose up to this to flush it out, make sure you're in a dump your hose is in the dump, the black is open, and then you can turn the hose on and uh, flush out your tank. So come on around the unit. Nice storage area back here. And then you have uh, stabilizers on all four corners. The stabilizers, once you get your uh, unit off the tow vehicle and level uh, side to side uh, off the tires, you can run your stabilizers down to actually stabilize the unit. You do not jack with those. They are not jacks. They are just to stabilize it. So come on around. Brand new spare tire. You do have a backup camera that will pair with uh, the monitor inside, once you plug it into uh, your, uh, your 12 volt inside the uh, tow vehicle. Pretty well takes care of the outside. Uh, let's go inside and we'll show you that as well. As you come in to your left, you'll find your service panel. Your service panel uh, automatically lights up for you. And it shows that your uh, fresh tank has uh, some water in it so we can test things out. Your black and gray are empty and your battery is fully charged. But we're plugged into shore power so it's uh, also trickle charging. You can run your lights by the push of a button here and your water pump here. Your awning extends or retracts here and uh, if we hit retract, you'll see it moving slowly back to the unit. Your slide it in and out works here. And above that uh, is a monitor for your voltage letting you know that uh, your battery is fully charged. I'll turn the radio down here a little bit. Below the radio is uh, your fireplace with the push of a button. You can Turn that on, it will give you some radiant heat. Uh, so on mornings, some cool mornings, you could uh, actually heat up the unit uh, and take the chill off. 
So we come on over to your cooktop. Your cooktop lights off with the turn of the burner and then the sparker will light off the burner. The burner has its own sparker. And as you can see, when you turn the burner on, the light turns red. There are blue lights to light up all of the uh, knobs. But again, as you turn it, it will turn red, letting you know there's gas coming out. You can also light off the pilot in your oven by turning it to light, pushing it in, and hitting the sparker, and that will light the pilot. We come on around to your sink. You have a nice cover for your sink. Put that to the side. Turn it on the water. You hear the pump. And then when you turn it off, the pump also shuts off, as I said before. So come on back to the uh, bathroom. Your, your toilet has a foot pedal. That foot pedal, if you push down slightly, will fill the bowl to where you want to use it. And once it's to the level that you want to use it, after use, you'll go ahead and push the pedal all the way down and it will flush right into the black tank. This is also where you're going to put your black tank chemicals. You'll just push the valve open, drop the chemicals in, either liquid or a packet, whatever you want to use. And uh, you want to do that before you start camping. And then after you've uh, dumped your tank, uh, then you also should put another packet in, run some water in, and let it uh, uh, keep your tank fresh that way. Nice walk-in shower with the skylight, your sink, your water heater operates here by pushing it on. Then you can run the temperature up and down wherever you want it. And uh, now it's ready for uh, demand service. So you'll, like I say, turn the pot on first in order for it to heat up. Once it's hot enough, then you can add cold to it. Light switch for the bathroom. Your uh, GFI is located here. Any receptacles close to water will be uh, hooked to that GFI. We come back into your bedroom. Nice queen size bed with uh, wardrobes on either side and above. Uh, reading lights located on the back they operate with the push of a button in the middle just as the ceiling light does and i believe there's yes storage underneath so as we come back out into the cabin we'll come over to your thermostat your thermostat operates by just turning it on looking for a zone this is a heat. You can run the heat temperature up or down. You go to mode, you can run the fan, or you can go to auto, which is a good way to run the fan. You can go to cool, and then run the temperature down to turn the AC on. And then you can turn the thermostat off completely. Below that is your breaker panel. Your breakers are all marked, your 110 breakers down below, past your converter are your 12 volts, and they're marked as well as to what they go to. Make sure this door is closed before you bring your slide in. Your refrigerator is 12 volt, so as you're traveling, it's going to uh, stay on, running off the uh, battery or running off of your uh, your tow vehicle but it will uh, 
will keep your food cold as you're traveling. Your dinette does a lower, uh, the table lowers down onto these rails and uh, then you can pull the pillows forward and make a bed out of it by just taking the top off of the pipe below and storing the pipes in a safe place. Your couch also makes into a bed by jackknifing it up and laying it out. Then you also have two nice bunks uh, behind that. That pretty much takes care of our walkthrough. If you have any questions once you uh, receive your unit, don't hesitate to call. Uh, they will put you in touch with one of us who, uh, who do the walkthroughs uh, periodically. And uh, hopefully we can answer any of your questions. Thank you for buying your unit from Holman. And we know that you're going to enjoy it.